Hello friends, I am here with the PPT of bar graph. This topic will help you in, in your school life. If you will understand this topic, it will help you in your uh, career also, in your offices to making the graph of performance and anything. So please try to understand this topic very clearly. And if you have any query, please write in the comment. I will reply you as soon as possible. And in this PPT, I am given one example. If you want to understand another example also, I am putting the link in the description. In that uh, link, there is another example also of bar graph. So please uh, watch the video complete and um, give your comment. Thank you. Today we will learn about bar graph. First of all, what is bar graph or definition of bar graph? A graph in which we use rectangular bar, horizontal or vertical, anything, to compare certain values between given categories of data. I mean, uh, there will be some values given like um, age of uh, babies, uh, like uh, performance of uh, um, uh, any employee. So we have to compare that. So first see how what horizontal bar graph look like. It look like this. This is horizontal bar graph. And now we will see how vertical bar graph look like. It will be look like this. This is vertical bar graph. Sometimes bar graph with vertical bar also called vertical bar graph. Bar graph is also called bar chart and bar diagram. Let's take example. In an office, total number of employees is 276. We will make bar graph of employee after office activity. Means what employees do after office timing. So I had taken some activities which is possibility to do uh, after office. It is play sports, talk on phone, visit with friends, time spent with families, club, watch time, watch TV. So let's take the values of uh, employees who are doing these activities after office time. I had taken this all these values are assumption. There is nothing the uh, means uh, uh, real values. This is all assumption. So it is play sports is 48 employee uh, play sports after office. 50 employees talk on phone after office. 98 employee visit with friends after office. And 20 employee spend time with families. 25 employee uh, go to club. And 35 employee watch TV. If you are in school, you will get this kind of sheet. Or if you are in uh, office working, if you are doing uh, jo uh, this bar graph preparation in your laptop, then you will get Excel sheet like this. Okay, then we will make lining. Here I am uh, making vertical bar graph. So we will do the line like this and in this line this particular line is called y axis and this is called x axis in vertical bar graph and this is called independent variable we will put independent variable in x axis and dependent variable in y axis so how we will know what is dependent variable and what is independent variable let's come to uh, the numbers values this is the values 48 employee play sports it means 48 is dependent on play sports play sports is not dependent on anything so these values 48 50 98 is called dependent variables and this play sports talk these are called independent variables 
I had put it this value in descriptions also. You can see directly from there also. Now we will, uh, if you can see in the um, value here, maximum went to 98. So let we will take the uh, dependent variable up to 120, like this. 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. So it will be easy for us to maintain the graph. First was 48. It was play sports. Here it is. Play sports I had taken. It is 48. Means little bit low from 50. It is 48. In your... Um, school if you are in school or colleges you will get the sheet where it will be particular small line will be there it will be easy for you here you can take means approx value or in excel sheet it will take automatically 48 the second was talk on phone here it i have provided the color and the num name you can write this name below this color also here below this color also i had taken inside it is play sports is 48, talk on phone 50, visit with friends is 98, so it will be little down from 100, spend time with family it is 20 and go to club is, let's see what, what was that. Go to club was 25. It was 25. Yeah. It is 25. So little bit high from 20. It is little bit high from 20. It is 25. And last. It is watch TV. 35 means little bit low from 40. It is 35. Watch TV. So your vertical graph will look like this. You can use different shade different uh, means uh, design to differentiate this bar this rectangular bar is called bar graph and the same uh, vertical graph if we will make in horizontal how it will look like it will look like this the dependent variable will come this side and independent will go this side everything will go change so this was the bar graph. If you have any query, please write in questions in the comment. Please subscribe the channel for new update. Thank you. Have a nice day.